एफ एम डी मॉड्यूलेटर्स एंड थ्रेशोल्ड इफेक्ट नाउ वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज थ्रेशोल्ड इफेक्ट इन एफ एम डी मॉड्यूलेटर्स एंड दिस इज द जनरल फॉर्मूला गिवन हियर दैट इन एनी एफ एम सिस्टम द सिग्नल लेवल इज वेल अब नॉइज देन ऑनली द आउटपुट कैन बी रिकोगनाइज ओके सो द जनरल फॉर्मूला हियर इज सिग्नल टू नॉइज रेशियो एट द आउटपुट ऑफ द रिसीवर इज इक्वल टू थ्री बीटा स्क्वायर कैरियर टू नॉइज रेशियो एट द इनपुट ऑफ द रिसीवर ओके नाउ इफ we have to understand this in a better way then first we have to understand the term figure of merit with reference to the book analog communication system by sanjay sharma i am going to explain you this all these abbreviations are as written in this book so what is figure of merit figure of merit is actually the ratio of signal to noise ratio at the output of the receiver to signal to noise ratio at the input of the receiver so as the name indicate figure of merit means if at the input of the receiver whatever be the signal to noise ratio at the input or carrier signal to noise ratio at the input of the receiver how it the receiver is modifying from this input and providing us signal to noise ratio at the output of the receiver and finally by solving all the formulas by calculating this signal to noise ratio as we know that signal to noise ratio is equal to signal पावर डिवाइडेड बाई नॉइस पावर एंड इन द सेम वे एट द इनपुट सिग्नल पावर बाई नॉइस पावर सो बोथ आर टू रेशियोज इन द न्यूमिनेटर इज ऑल्सो रेशियो एंड द इन द डेनोमीटर इज ऑल्सो रेशियो इफ वी हैव वी विल सॉल्व विद दीज ऑल दीज वैल्यूज फाइनली वॉट वी आर गेटिंग दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर टू अंडरस्टैंड द थ्रेश होल्ड इफेक्ट फॉर फॉर for single tone fm for single tone fm single tone fm means base band signal having only single frequency so for that the figure of merit is 3 by 2 mf square for single tone fm the beta just we had uh, seen the beta is actually modulation index for single tone fm okay now let us consider the case when wide band fm is used so for wide band fm for wide band fm the figure of merit is actually 3 kf square kf means frequency sensitivity p is the power output and that complete is divided by fm square so as you know the formula of deviation ratio in wide band fm we consider deviation ratio in place of modulation index and what is deviation ratio is equal to del f by fm and since the deviation ratio is proportional to the ratio kf under root p divided by fm okay deviation ratio is kf under root p by fm as we are watching in this formula so from this formula what we are able to watch that figure of merit is directly proportional to d square so in both the cases either of single tone uh, fm or wide band fm what we are watching that the figure of merit is directly proportional to with a term d square in case of wide band and mf square in case of single tone fm okay now better understanding in the graph 
first we have to understand what is c and r sometimes it is abbreviated at c and r carrier signal to noise ratio somewhere it is written as signal to noise ratio abbreviation um, with a subscript c and sometimes this subscript c is also written as i means input at the input of the receiver so what we have to understand that whatever the signal coming at the input of the receiver for that signal to noise ratio if this value carrier signal to noise signal if this ratio is greater it means that carrier signal is prominent than noise signal carrier signal is having greater value compared to noise signal and if we say that c and r is decreasing or it is having lower value it means that carrier signal is comparably smaller than the noise signal okay so now let us watch the graph for better understanding and in the graph we will able to watch the threshold effect the threshold effect this is the graph and in this graph we will be able to understand the threshold effect now if by using the formula of figure of merit if we draw the graph which shows the relations between signal to noise ratio at the output of the receiver to the signal to noise ratio or we can say carrier signal to noise ratio at the input of the receiver so by using the formulas that we had just seen if the graph is drawn so this is the actual structure of this graph and this complete graph is divided into three sections three zones this one is actually this one is actually below threshold region and this below threshold region is for lower values of carrier signal to noise ratio lower values of carrier signal to noise ratio means when the carrier signal is smaller comparably smaller than the noise signal okay and then the next section is fm improvement region fm improvement region means frequency modulation improvement region why it is said improvement region i will discuss and the third region is distortion limited region and this distortion limited region is for the higher values of c and r means higher values of c and r means when the carrier signal at the input of the receiver are far greater than the noise signal receiving at the receiver okay so in simply we can understand that if the receiver is receiving the uh, carrier signal promptly or the signal is very good comparable to noise means noise is much lesser then definitely when the demodulation will occur then the output will be better the output signal will be better because the demodulator itself introducing some noise so if before demodulation the noise is very less then after passing through the receiver the noise will much does not mu much affect the output of the receiver okay now for better understanding i am uh, going from right to left to understand this okay now as we are watching that there is a threshold point uh, in the x axis for which means for a value of carrier signal to noise there is some specific value of signal to noise ratio and this is in db just for assumption just for assumption suppose this is 10 db okay so the second value what we are getting for the distortion limited region suppose this is 50 db means at distortion limited region we are getting the higher signal to noise ratio means signal output 
divided by noise output at the output of the receiver is far greater than this threshold point value. Okay. It means that at the distortion limited region, the signal is completely not affected by the noise. Okay. So, the effect of noise has been overcome with the receiver output signal. So, at this point, distortion limited region means in practical cases, in a little amount, there is always a noise. Okay. So, distortion limited region means if that noise is not creating much distortion or we can limit the distortion by using any electronic circuitry, at that time, the signal to noise ratio is having the higher amount means the output signal, the useful signal the uh, signal which can be heard by a human being, the audible value is far greater than the noise and noise does not affect that value. And when it happens, it, ha it happens only for the higher values of input carrier to signal noise ratio. It means already at the input of the receiver, the carrier signal is very good. It is far better value, having far better value than the noise value okay now reversing it if we are slowly decreasing the input carrier to noise signal means now i am moving from right to left so if the carrier signal is decreasing comparable to noise signal so what we are watching that after this constant region after few value it is starting decaying okay at this it is decays up to certain value which is known as threshold value but but after that after that means if uh, beyond threshold value we are decreasing the carrier signal to lower one lower side for that what we are watching that signal to noise ratio is decreasing very fastly very fastly it is decreasing means signal value is very much lower than the noise signal and in this region the signal cannot be extracted from the noise it cannot be departed from the noise okay so below threshold region we does not use the receiver we use the receiver generally at the distortion limited region only and the improvement in frequency modulated signal or the uh, demodulation process in the receiver, it occurs after the threshold point only. Okay. So, this three regions, this region that where the signal to noise ratio at the output of the receiver is constant means even the carrier signal is um, enhancing its value compared to noise we are getting the constant magnitude of the signal at the output. That's why we are able to hear proper volume at the um, output of the receiver set. And as, we, as the input carrier signal is decreasing its value compared to noise signal at the input of the receiver, then the FM output signal or at the receiver output, the uh, signal to noise ratio is decreasing is decreasing means signal is becoming weaker comparable to the earlier region okay and below this threshold point the signal to noise ratio is such that we cannot extract the value from the noise or from the complete signal and that is useless and that's why it is said that's why it is said the threshold, the threshold is usually defined as the carrier to noise ratio at which the demodulated signal to noise ratio fall 1 dB below the linear relationship. Okay, 
इट जनरली कंसिडर टू अकर 